So the project we're working on with our colleagues in geology is uh, building a cheap and efficient but statistically sound prediction of glacial melt rates. Glaciers are headwaters of many of the major rivers of the world, but there are thousands of them, so we can't get to all of them. So we have to use a modeling approach of some sort. And so one of the goals is to, to try to improve upon those models as best we can. Glacial melt rates are pretty complicated to model uh, physically. So even if a geologist has lots of boots on the ground information about a glacier, it's still quite difficult to assess how quickly that glacier is or will melt. It might take 20 or 30 different measurements to feed into a physical model to assess how quickly it's going to melt using a geophysical model. Statistics is an important part of this research as well because it's a very large volume of data that we're dealing with and in trying to develop this model we're trying to account for all of those data points, all the different scenarios that can exist in these glacier conditions. So I started this project when uh, uh, my colleague Summer Ruper, uh, she uh, recognized it as one of these problems that overlaps. And so the statistics really helps us in developing a model that's able to account for most of the variability that is inherent in that system. The heavy lifting, most of the interesting work is being done by our students. Me and Dr. Christensen will collaborate, kind of figure out, okay, here's the problem, how should we best approach this? And so he'll, he'll inspire new ideas um, with his experience and expertise, like, oh, try looking at it this way. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of other universities where you get the chance very early on in your undergraduate career to be involved in, in actual real research outside the classroom. Aaron and I were able to, to go to San Francisco uh, last year to the American Geophysical Union Conference. We had the opportunity to present our research. Um, we created a, a poster um, where experts in the glaciology field came to learn about things we were doing to better help their research. And so we had a lot of uh, glacial melt modelists that were coming by and talking to us. So it was a phenomenal experience. All of the, all of the footwork, all of the momen momentum is really coming from the student. We're just helping to redirect that momentum. I had a lot of personal control over this project myself, and which was a great learning experience for me. This is something that's uh, uh, over the last 10 years and over the next 10 will be a huge revolution. How, how are we going to handle these massive amounts of data? And our students are, are nicely prepared uh, to, to address those questions.